Super Bowl 52 halftime show with Pepsi, Justin Timberlake. How we doing? This feels official. I've got a podium and everything. Yeah. This is... You look like the commissioner up. Hi, everybody. That is a job I do not want, so. That is good. <laughs> well, why don't we get right to it? I believe we're first question is Lee from Access. First of all, how is everyone doing? Uh, sound like y'all need a little more coffee. Like, how is everybody doing? <laughs> there we go. That's OK. Weird. I need that energy on Sunday, so. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Lee Hi. from Access here. I asked Tom Brady earlier this week who his man crush is. <laughs> Do you know who he said? Uh, I, heard, I heard that uh, I made the list. Although I, although I was a little uh, jealous that I was so far behind uh, Edelman, Amendola, and Gronkowski. Um, what do you think of that, and how does that affect your bromance with Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, I think all of you uh, know that I'm telling the truth when I say nothing could ever come between Jimmy and I. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Tom, I actually texted Tom uh, before the uh, conference championship game, and I said, I'm going to the Super Bowl. Are you coming to the Super Bowl? Uh, but just to get him fired up, we have a really, uh, you know, obviously schedules are always uh, get in the way of... of uh, I guess bro time, as you would, you're referring to, but um, yeah, Tom's great. I mean, he's the greatest of all time, officially, <laughs> and and so yeah. I mean, Tom's that. Tom's definitely the type of dude you'd invite over to watch the Super Bowl with you. The problem is he's always in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> now so, that would be the ultimate special guest, wouldn't it? I have Tom Brady out there with on stage, you. on stage at the halftime show. Oh, he's busy this year. Um, <laughs> It certainly has. Also, I don't know. I mean, I mean, you know, on the Mount Rushmore of uh, quarterbacks, but I, I, I don't know if the verdict is out on his dance moves. So <laughs> he I, could I, do I, everything. I, yeah. Really but uh, we always talk. He about has it. great hair, though. He does. Have I mean, hair. great hair. Don't what, you agree? <laughs> Just, would you say he's your man crush, or do you have a different man crush? I mean, he's. On, I, I, I'd say he's on my list. The feeling is reciprocated. <laughs> If you want to make this official. <laughs> yeah. We have made it official. Sure. <laughs> now, we talk a lot about special guests at the Super Bowl. It's always a big discussion point. Who, you, who is it going to be? Can we expect, perhaps, a little sync reunion? Maybe uh, uh Well, no. <laughs> uh, no, um, to be honest, I had a ton of grand ideas about special guests. Mm -hmm. um, as you already know, we talked about it a lot. Um, yeah, there was, uh, I had, there's a whole list. I think Vegas has a lot of odds on it, I heard. Um, you know, from NSYNC to, to Jay, to uh, Chris Stapleton, to Janet. And, um, but this year, I'm just excited. My band is, uh, the Tennessee Kids, the, I feel like those, they're my special guests, and I'm excited this year to, uh, to, uh, to rock the stage. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, why don't we go to another question? And we believe we have another Justin who is with NBC <laughs> Sports. Justin Dungey. Hi, Justin from NBC Sports. I'm a big fan of your dad. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I saw your interview at the beginning of the football season when you first got elected to do the Super Bowl halftime show. You said your goal was to get Al Michaels to shake his booty. So how and... Still, still, still on the top of my list. How are you going to do that, and what song are you going to perform to get a 73-year-old to shake his booty? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you, do you have any advice? Um, you think, you think no, they Can't Stop the Feeling may, may do it? I'm not sure. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll have to check the odds on, in Vegas on that one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, if I can get Al to dance, I think that that would be a huge accomplishment, personal accomplishment. So, I don't know, I, I, I think the odds are good that I may have a little can't stop the feeling in the show. Well, but that's all I'm giving away. I'm not giving away anything else, so don't even try it. 
Let's go to AJ from Extra. What's up, Justin? How you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm good. First of all, happy belated birthday. Thank you. It was yesterday. Y'all want to help me? Happy birthday. Oh, y'all can do better. Happy birthday. This is very nice. Happy birthday, dear Justin. <laughs> Happy uh, birthday to you. How'd you celebrate? That was, uh, you get a little nervous when somebody's watching you sing, huh? Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try 130 million people. Um, uh, what did I do to celebrate? We were at rehearsals yesterday. Um, and uh, that was it. The 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 crew, the the field crew, and and uh, every uh, producers, Ricky and, and Hamish, and, and and everybody were nice enough. They all they tricked me. They said we need to talk with with you about something, and brought me to the to the middle of the field, and kind of I, then I was sort of in, in, in birthday song purgatory, and uh, and but it was it was so cool. Um, we actually caught it on on tape, so it was, uh, yeah, it was very nice. And thank you guys for that song. That was, <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you. Still? His mic went out, but he did ask me. Uh, I said, do you, get, do you get nerves before a big show like this still? I, I mean, I think, uh, I think I'm just excited. I mean, I'm excited to be on this stage once again and, and, and at this point in my life. Um, and and uh, you know it's a, it's just a great opportunity to. I I feel so grateful every day. This may sound like some sort of pandering, but it it's not. It's the truth. I, I feel so grateful every day to have the opportunity to like bring people joy through my favorite thing to do, which is write and perform music. And and so to do that on such a grand stage, you know, I, it's it's. Uh, you know, we're going to take it seriously that we want everyone to have a ton of fun. So that's my main objective with, with the halftime show. And I think you're going to definitely meet it. And we're going to try to get you a birthday cake. I'm sorry. Let's see how <laughs> fast we can make a birthday cake so we can get it out here before we're done with this. I'm so. a bigger donut <laughs> fan if you really want to give me something. <laughs> uh, Why don't we go throwing to... that out there. I really like donuts. We'll go to Sibley from E. Hey, Justin. Um, well, I can't beat that happy birthday, AJ. Thanks a lot, okay? But happy birthday again. Thank you. So I could do a second version. Happy birthday to you. That's a good one. Happy birthday to you. All right, I got a two-part question for you, sir. Okay. We know that you posted recently during a haircut, this album is named for your son. So everyone stop thinking it's something else like a country album. <laughs> Even though you got Chris Stapleton on there. Will we see Silas on Sunday? And since you are a child star and you've had this amazing career... I'd rather you not call me that. Oh, well, you started. You started, right? You started a as a youngster. grown man, woman. I mean, you started as a youngster, sir. You started as a youngster. My apologies. But you're here as a grown man. And this is the second time of a halftime show for the Super Bowl. Would you want your son to follow in your footsteps if he wanted to do that? Oh, that question. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, Dad, I'd rather not think about it because he's about to turn three. So, <laughs> um, but he did come to rehearsals yesterday, and um, I was shocked at how quickly he could cover a hundred yards. Um, so, you know, it runs in our family. Speed runs in our family. <laughs> I've been running routes too. I just want to throw this out there to uh, to Belichick, if uh, you know. If, if, if all of your receivers go down, I'll be ready to go. So uh, shoot me a text. So you uh, would support do, do they have injuries? I think they're all he healthy, right? So you would support if he wanted to run some routes and get in the NFL? Uh, he will never play football. Okay. Uh, no, no. I, I mean, yeah, if it, it, it's kind of like that thing where... where my main objective is that he become a great person. And if he wants to get into the arts or sports, then yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I would fully support that. I yeah. think, uh, you know, I can um, hopefully offer him some advice on what to do and what not to do. And, and uh, so yeah, but right now I think uh, 
Right now, we're working on our manners. That's like a, that's a big deal in our house right now. It's like one thing at a time. So okay. We'll go next to Christopher from Care NBC, Minneapolis. Justin, Chris, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Uh, good, good, good. I'm wondering how Minnesotans have been treating you. Where have you been around the, the Twin Cities, if you've been able to go out? Mm-hmm. And what are some of your favorite hot spots so far? Uh, well, to the first part of your question, uh, Minnesotans have uh, completely debunked the uh, rumor that us Southerners thought that people from the North were not as nice as us because it's like everyone's been, it's just been great. I mean, I wish you would turn the heat up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's, it's been great. We, um, we went to the, uh, I'm being told, the world famous Manny's. We went to Manny's. I ate my weight in steak uh, and slept for about 12 hours after that. And, uh, and yeah, it's been great. Um, everyone's offered me a soda. Uh, <laughs> super kind of everyone. And uh, no, I, honestly, it, uh, I'm I'm excited to be here. It's uh, I've I've been here many times on tour, but this is like something else. So uh, so I'm ex- I'm as excited as, as everyone else is to be. Good here. good deal. Glad to impress. Thank Thanks. You. Thank okay, you. we're gonna go to a special guest. We have Miss America here, Kara oh. Munn. Yes. Hello. Hi, Miss America. Hi. It's an honor to be here. Um, so as a public figure and as someone all of us look up to, I'm curious who your inspiration was. And I know during this time, it's not always easy. And so who is it that keeps you going? Uh, well, I mean, my family, I, I, I would have to say. Um, I think uh, anyone here who's a, a mother or father would probably agree with me that you probably, it's like life before that, you know, I, I made the joke the other day that uh, my wife and I kind of look at each other when we finally get our son to bed and we have a couple of, you know, a few hours free to ourselves. We, we were like, what did we do before this? Like, did we go out? Like, did we go to dinner? And, and um, so yeah, I think now more than ever, I think my son and, 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 and my wife and, and, you know, my mom has always been a big, big grounding force in my life. And, and now, you know, to, ha- to have a family and to think about how, uh, how my son will, will, will live in this world, I think that that's, um, that's probably the biggest factor. That and Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady's hair, mostly. He's got great hair. Let's go to John Breen. Does he oh, have a Star shampoo Trek. commercial? I'm just saying. <laughs> I think you just got one. Okay. Let's go to uh, John Breen, Minnesota Star. Tree. I'm with the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Justin, welcome to Minneapolis. Thank you, sir. I have to ask you the obvious Minneapolis question. What does Prince mean to you? Uh, the, in my opinion, uh, the greatest all-around musician I, I, I could think of in popular culture. I mean, he's a huge influence on me. Um, uh, the, it seems like maybe braggadocious to say, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, the, 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 the time that I got to spend around him, with him, um, talking about music and and it just those are memories that I'll take with me forever because he's always been such a big idol of mine so it feels um, it feels nice to be here um, the the estate uh, that manages his you know um, godliness um, it, it, it is was nice enough we're we're doing a listening uh, party tonight at Paisley Park. And so I'm like pinching, I, th- there's like a lot of bucket list things that are happening this week for me and, and that's definitely at the top of, uh, of that list as well. Um, so I get, to, uh, I, get to, I get to come back and be on stage at the Super Bowl, but you know, to top it off, I get to walk the uh, hallowed sacred ground of, of Paisley Park tonight and get to play my, my new album, which is like, I, like I, that didn't even seem like a possibility to me a year ago. So, and I have speaking of the new album, I have to ask you the line about, um, uh, "I love your pink, you like my purple." Where did that line come from? Uh, 
That's none of your business, sir. <laughs> I think we're on to Boston. We'll go to John from Channel 7. 7 News Boston here. Hey, JT, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm great. So you had a chance to spend any time with Giselle this week. Why are you trying to break up a bromance? <laughs> we well, just got this locked up. Uh, to that question, do you get to spend a lot of time with Tom at the Yellowstone Club? You guys spend a lot of time together. I know you guys are friends. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen him there yet. Um, he probably... Did, do they let him ski? I'm not sure. He, there's been some video on social media of him doing some pretty crazy things. I think, you know, jumping into a lagoon. Uh, we played, like we played some golf together. That, that's kind of, that's kind of my, one thing that I enjoy doing a lot. And so anytime you get to, anytime you, get to you know, uh, share a time like that away from everything with somebody that I think you have a lot of true respect and admiration for, how seriously he takes his craft and how great he is at, at it, um, and, and I think I, we're probably, you know, I mean, well, I know it, you know, that we're very like-minded people. And, and so it's nice to be around somebody like that and not just, you know, hang with them, but also pick their brain on what makes them so great as well. Maybe like take a little bit of the, the Brady sauce. That's a, you guys can coin that phrase. Trademark. We're yep. going to go to another Boston right here with uh, ABC. Maria. Hi, Justin. Hi. So you didn't answer Gary's question. I'm Maria Stefanos from WCVB TV in Boston. Were you with Giselle yesterday at Starbucks? I, I was not. Ah. I would have definitely remembered that. All right, donuts. You said donuts, Boston cream. Oh, what type of donuts? Yes. You know, I I could go for. I mean, Boston cream. I I, I don't discriminate. Donuts. Okay. I'm gonna say that. I'm a big fan of. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, blueberry. Love a blueberry donut. But maybe for this week it would be Boston cream, and that gets me to my next question. Oh, okay. okay. Well, sure. <laughs> so you love Tom Brady. <laughs> you love no, his I mean, hair. You guys told him told me that he loves me. So. Yeah, so that's what it is. It's, that's the only reason why. Come on now. We lo I do. You love Tom Brady. I, I you just I call love, him the goat. I love Tom Brady. There, I said it. <sighs> How did that feel? <sighs> Feels good to get okay, that off good. my I'm chest. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That makes me happy. So, is it safe to say that on Super Bowl Sunday, you'll be rooting for the Patriots? I have to go on tour in Philadelphia, woman. What are you doing You can me? do it. You can do it. It's okay to say it right here just between you and I. Uh, Justin, come on. Go pack, go. <laughs> go packed. Pack. Pack patriots. Pa go pa pa pack, patriots. Go. I'm telling Tom Brady. <laughs> We're gonna go with two more questions. We'll go to uh, Inez here on the right. Hi, Inez Hines from TV Azteca, Mexico. What was your inspiration to design the halftime show? What was my inspiration? Yes. So I got this phone call, right? Okay. <laughs> and they were like, would you come and do the halftime show? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and then <laughs> when, you, when you say yes and you realize that you are going to be part again for a Super Bowl, what do you think about the idea to be the, the greatest show that you have ever done? Um, yeah, I, th I think that's, you know, I, 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 without giving too much away, um, we're doing a few things with this halftime show that they've never quite done before. Okay. So um, I'm excited to do that. I always like to, you know, um, I always like to, to, to push to be able to, to, to do something like that. Um, but also too, I think the, on a more serious note, uh, I think thinking about, you know, it's a moment where you have the opportunity to bring so many people together uh, through what I think is the greatest art form, which is music. And, and so that has been sort of the ethos of inspiration behind putting the set list together and, you know, managing how 
uh, the, you know, the visuals and, and how it would all sort of, sort of come together. So, and you know, I like to make dance music, so mm -hmm. I think you, you know, yeah. I hope everyone's dancing. That's, that's great. Sounds great. Thank you. I think that's like the greatest thing anyone could do to express joy. I don't want to sound like uh, Kevin Bacon in Footloose, but, <laughs> and they danced. I think he was like at a podium too and he did that, right? He like pulled out the Bible and it got weird. Um, so I won't do that, but yeah. No, well, well put. There is a lot of acrimony in the world right now. I think on Sunday, you're gonna bring everyone together. Uh, to that end, let's go for our last question to Tencent with China. Hi, Justin. Uh, we are Tencent China. You know, they ha you have a crazy fan base back in China, right? Great. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and uh, this is our third year covering NFL Super Bowl. And uh, there's also a uh, Chinese famous singer, Chris Wu, coming over to the Super Bowl live. Uh, first time ever. Um, what do you think of uh, the NFL's rapid growing and development back in China? Well, I think it's, I mean, it's, it's a, I mean, it, 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 it's a great game and to see how it, to see also too how it, it's, it's moving its way across, you know, the other pond, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's great. I think it's great. You asked me like, what do I think about the game moving its way into China? Uh, the, Is that, the, sorry. The NFL's rapid growing back in China. Oh, a lot like of the, fan base are oh, growing up. Yep. I think it's great. I think it's great. I'm sure the NFL is very excited about the merchandising uh, angle of that, too. <laughs> <laughs> and to that I don't want to speak for you guys, but... Thank that's you, right. To that end, we do want to thank you for being here. On behalf of the National Football League, it's my honor to present you with a game ball. Oh, wow. Yeah. You want to thank you. Side for photos. This right here? Here we go. I got a game ball. I got a game ball. So y'all know. There it is, the first pass of the Super Bowl. And he even threw it back. Very nice. So, Justin, we do thank you. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see you for the Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show on Sunday. And we also look forward to Man of the Woods coming out in a couple hours. Let's do it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys.